Um, Morungai is used here a lot in Nicaragua. When people are sick, they'll take these leaves and they'll take some of the lemongrass and boil it. They'll take some of these flowers, which are also edible. They're a little bit spicier than the leaves. They're also very good for you. They'll take these and they'll boil them and make a tea. And so whenever someone has a cold, they use this actually as a really good medicine, a natural medicine, better than anything you can get at the, at the drugstore. We're gonna actually take some of these leaves right now and we're gonna go down and we're gonna make a smoothie at the restaurant. Also, we have some of these pods. This is the immature pod, and these can be cut into little pieces like green beans, and they're cooked typically in Asian food for curry and stir fry, and they're very tasty, actually. It tastes a little bit like an asparagus. Here's the mature pod. And this is a mature seed pod. These seeds are actually can be used for water purification. They take these seeds, they dry them out, pulverize the seeds, make them into a powder and if you put them in a glass of muddy water you can watch it visibly within about an hour the water will be, have cleared itself amazingly the particulates of the water will have coagulated into the bottom of the glass so another use for morongai miracle tree